Hi there and welcome to English for Everyone, where we teach real-life American English. My name's Lisa. And my name's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about our bicycle or our bike. Something happened to it. Lisa, what happened to the bike? I was riding my bike and I ran over something and now I have a flat tire. You have a flat tire? Yep. Well, it's worse than just a flat tire. Look, the tire came off the rim. This is the tire and this is the rim. So I say the tire came off the rim. Kevin, where's the rim? This is the rim. And where's the tire? Here's the tire. And the tire came off the rim. We use a phrasal verb, come off. Come off in the present, in the past, came off. The tire came off the rim. And inside the tire, you can see the inner tube. This is called an inner tube. Inner, because it's inside, and tube, because we call it a tube. That's where the air goes. Yeah, it's really a mess here. We need to get it fixed. Kevin, how do we pronounce rim? Rim. Use the short I sound like this is. Rim. Rim. The tire came off the rim. Kevin, how do we pronounce tire? Tire. Use the long I sound like high and like. And bike. Tie. Plus the er, tire. When we link these sounds, we use the y sound like yes and yesterday. Tire, tire, tire. Like fire. So what did the tire do? The tire came off the rim. So the tire was on the rim and then it came off the rim. That's right. The tire was on the rim and then we had a flat tire and we kept going. So the tire came off the rim. Is it a problem? Yeah, it's a problem. We need to get it fixed. So how are we going to fix it? Well, I can't fix it. It's an electric bike. It's too complicated for me. I can fix a regular bike, but not an electric bike. So we need to take it to the bike shop and pay somebody else to fix it. So we say we need to get it fixed. Get it, get the bike, get the bike fixed or get it fixed. That's what you say when you pay someone to do a job for you. We need to get it fixed. Pronunciation. We hear the T in get change to a fast D. Get it, get it. And the T in it is a stop T because it's before a consonant. So we hear get it, get it fixed. We need to get it fixed. We need to take it to the bike shop. And now let's talk about the bike parts. Kevin, you said it's an electric bike. So what does it have that a regular bike doesn't have? An electric bike has a battery and the battery gives you a boost, a boost of power when you need it. So you don't have to pedal as hard. You have extra power from the battery. How do you pronounce battery? Battery. Battery. The double T changes to a fast D. Batter. Batter. Plus the R. 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 E. And the long E sound like green beans. Battery. Battery. Kevin, what are these called? These are the handlebars. It's a plural word. Handlebars. These are the handlebars. And what is this called? This is a basket. This bike has a basket for storage. It's a wicker basket. Wicker is the material. And this is a basket. Pronunciation? Basket. Use the short a like black cat. Basket. And a short sound for the second syllable. Basket. It's countable, so I say uh. This is a basket. This is a wicker basket. Why does the bike need a basket? Well, you don't need a basket, but it comes in handy for storage. You can put things in here. It comes in very handy, but you don't really need one. Let's see what we have here. Kevin, what is this thing called? This is the lock. This is a cable lock to lock your bike when you put it somewhere so no one steals your bike. This is a combination lock. You see, it has a combination. That's how you lock it. This is a combination lock and it's a cable. It's a cable lock. Kevin, what are these called? These are the brake levers. You have front brakes and rear brakes. See, right here. These are the front brakes. And back here, we have the rear brakes. These are the rear brakes. How do you pronounce lever? Lever. This is the brake lever. Use the short S sound like bed and ten. Le, le, lever. This is a brake lever. Kevin, what do you call this thing? This is the frame. This is the frame of the bike. The main part. This is the frame. And what are these called? These are called 
pedals. That's where you put your feet. You put your feet on the pedals. Pronunciation, pedal. Use a short S sound like red and 10, pe, pedal. And the fast D in the middle, pedal. You have two pedals because you have two feet. And what about the verb pedal? That's right, pedal is also the verb. When you put your foot and you turn, you are pedaling the bike. And what about the spokes? Does the bike have spokes? Oh yeah, right here. These are spokes. You have spokes here on the front wheel and you have spokes here on the rear wheel. And what about the reflectors? Does the bike have reflectors? I think so, let me see. Oh yeah, there's, here's, here's one reflector on the wheel. Here's another rear reflector. Yeah, have, we have reflect, oh, another reflector here. And we have a headlight, one headlight. What about the bike seat? This is the bike seat. That's right, pronunciation, seat. Use a long E like green beans, seat. So the verb is sit with a short is sound, like this is. You sit on the seat, on the bike seat. And if I lift up the bike seat here, you can see this. This is the seat post. And you can adjust the seat post. It can go up or down. Right now I have it low because I'm short. This is the seat post and this is the seat. What about the thing on the back? Oh, this? Yeah, this is a storage rack. You can put things here and strap it down with some bungee cords so you can store more things. That's why it's called a storage rack. Or you can just call it a rack. Kevin, the bike is not falling, why not? It's magic. No, it's not magic. It's this thing here. This is a kickstand because you kick it and the bike will stand. That's why it's called a kickstand. This is a kickstand. And these things right here, these are the forks, the front forks. And these forks are special because they have shock absorbers. The forks have shock absorbers and the shock absorbers absorb shocks when you hit bumps. It makes the ride smoother. What about the chain? Does the bike have a chain? Yeah, over here. This is the chain. And this is the gear shifter. So I can change gears with the gear shifter. When I change gears, it moves down here. And you have different gears. The chain jumps on a different sprocket and you change the gears. So we have this thing here, this is a sprocket. And the chain runs on the sprocket. You have a front sprocket and a rear, and rear sprockets. You have, a, you have a big sprocket here and then you have the little sprockets here. And what happens if the chain gets rusty? You want to prevent rust. So you can put oil on the chain or you can put WD-40. The most common thing we use is WD-40 to prevent rust on a bike chain. Let's talk more about the sprocket. This is the sprocket, but you can't see the sprocket because you have this white thing here. This is for protection. We call this a chain guard. This is a chain guard. And the chain guard is important because if you don't have a chain guard, you can get your jeans caught between the chain and the sprocket. And you don't want that to happen. So it's important to have a chain guard. Kevin, okay, let's talk about the handlebars more. All right. So these are the handlebars and where you put your hands, these are called grips. These are handlebar grips. They look leather, but I don't know if they're real leather. But they're called grips because it's a verb. You can grip, grip something. So you grip it, that's why they're called grips. Handlebar grips. Are they slippery? Not really. And this is the neck. Your bike has a neck, just like you. This is a neck. The neck attaches the handlebars to the frame. Hey Kevin, I wanna ride the bike. Well, it has a flat tire, remember? Yep, so let's get it fixed. All right, let's go get it fixed. Hey Kevin, where are we? We're here at the bike shop. See, there's a sign. Do we say bicycle or bike? You can say either one. This is a bike or this is a bicycle. What is more common? Bike. I think bike is more common. That's what I say. But people say both, right? Yeah, people say both. But I wouldn't say bicycle shop. I guess you could, but I say bike shop. That's what the sign says. What are we doing here? We're going to get it fixed. Remember, the tire came off the rim. 
So we need to fix the bike. We need to change the inner tube. But we can't do it, so we're gonna get it fixed. That's right, we're gonna pay someone to fix it, so we're gonna get it fixed. How much is it gonna cost to get it fixed? I think it's gonna cost around $60 to get it fixed. Kevin, what do you call a person who rides a bike? A person who rides a bike is a cyclist, and they have all this gear for cyclists. See? Cycling. This is called gear. Clothes, things you use to ride a bicycle, is called gear. Kevin, what do you have there? This is a bicycle helmet. This is also called gear. Not countable, it's not a gear. This is all gear for cyclists. Can you call them bikers too? No, if you ride a bicycle, you're a cyclist. A biker is someone who rides a motorcycle. That's different. Kevin, where's your bike? I dropped my bike off at the bike shop. They're working on it, but they can't fix it today. It's gonna be ready tomorrow. Do we have to come back tomorrow to get the bike? Yeah, we have to come back tomorrow to pick it up. So I dropped it off today, and tomorrow I'm gonna pick it up. Remember, drop off, in the past, dropped. Dropped it. Pronunciation, dropped it. I dropped it off. Link the T sound to the it. Dropped it, dropped it off. And the T in it is a fast D, because it's between vowels. So dropped it off, it off. I dropped it off and tomorrow I'm gonna pick it up. Look, we got our bike back, and it's fixed. Let's check it out. It has air in it. Oh no, but they forgot something. They forgot to put the cap back on the valve. Kevin, what is a valve? This, this right here. This is a valve. Pronunciation, valve. Use the short A sound like black cat. Valve, valve. Make the V sound, v -v vibration, valve. Remember, there are two Vs, valve. One in the beginning and one at the end. It's an air valve. It's called a Schrader valve. That's the type of valve it is. And that's how you put air in the tire. But they forgot to put the cap back on the valve. What about the other wheel? Let's check it. Here's the cap. Why well, have a cap on the front wheel, but not on the back wheel? So. I unscrew the cap, and then I take it back here, and I screw the cap on. Or I can say I screw on the cap. Now it has a cap, but now I'm missing a cap on the front wheel. So what are we gonna do? We don't have a cap. It'll work, it doesn't need a cap. It shouldn't leak air, it'll be fine for now. Okay, so I'm gonna get on my bike, and I'm gonna ride my bike. So I'm getting on my bike, and I'm riding my bike. So remember, you get on the bike, and you get off the bike. Get on, get off. The letter T is between two vowels. We pronounce it as a fast D. Get on, get off. You get on the bike, and you get off the bike. Kevin, do you want to ride the bike? Yeah, I want to ride the bike. Come on, get on the bike, and ride the bike. All right, I'm going to get on the bike. Don't fall off the bike. Oh, be careful. I almost fell off the bike. So what's the phrasal verb? Get on and get off. What about fall off? Oh yeah, you can fall off the bike too. Luckily, I didn't fall off the bike. Fall off. Use the all sound like ball and call. Fall. Fall off the bike. In the past, fell off. Did you fall off the bike? No, I didn't fall off the bike. I almost fell off the bike. It was close. Be careful. Don't run me over. Works good. Perfect. I got off the bike. Good job. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.